Imagine going to pick up a prescription and learning your health insurance has been switched and your medication is no longer covered. This is happening to thousands of people, according to brokers throughout the country. I'm 7 News consumer anchor Diane Lee with a warning about rogue brokers who are manipulating the Affordable Care Act system at the expense of unsuspecting patients. If there's one thing that's sure to make the heart race, it's being told you no longer have the health insurance you've had for seven years. When I went to the pharmacist to get my medicine, I was really shocked because they was, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't have the money to cover my medicine, so I didn't even get my medicine at all. Keith Reagan, who battles with rheumatoid arthritis, gets his insurance from the Affordable Care Act, the federal marketplace for people with no employer-sponsored health insurance. He says for months his health care plan has been switched repeatedly without him knowing, and his doctor's visits and medicines aren't covered. When they steal me from my insurance, I can't go and get my infusion, and when I can't get the infusion, I go back to, uh, to hurting again aching real bad. Reagan suspects it all started when he saw a post on social media offering a free $6,400 subsidy. All he had to do to qualify was enter his name, birth date, and state of residency. And that's all the three things they need to steal you from your insurance. And that's how all this mess started. It's all it started over that and I've been stole from it 23 times. These are insurance plans that Keith was signed up without his knowledge or consent. Insurance broker Guy Fury with the insurance source showed 7 News how Reagan's plan was fraudulently switched nearly two dozen times since January. So why would that be happening? It's rampant and horrible. Ronell Nolan, the head of the nonprofit Health Agents for America, says the rogue brokers get commissions from insurance companies just like legitimate brokers. If you're scamming thousands because you're using offshore, you know, call centers or whatever you're doing, then the money would add up. If insurance agents are required to have a license, how are they able to get away with this, the rogue ones? Because they get non-resident license. Fury says what's lacking is a multi-factor authentication requirement to make account changes. Over 100,000 people, that's a conservative estimate, have been scammed across the country some over and over and over again without their knowledge and consent. And the government is failing to protect the very basic security measures of the Affordable Care Act. In a statement, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services told 7 News the agency has significantly ramped up enforcement actions against agents violating CMS rules. It also says it's evaluating a wide range of technological protections to prevent unauthorized activities. Now, beyond the medical concerns, some victims face a large IRS bill for back taxes because they don't actually qualify for the subsidies in the new plan. It's immoral. It's unethical and it should never be allowed to happen. Reagan's warning. Careful of the scammers, the free money, anything like that on social media. Don't click on it and don't sign up for it because it's fake. Now those bogus social media ads aren't the only way that people can fall victim. Even if you don't use the federal marketplace for health insurance, you could be signed up, but only if the scammer has your social security number. A big red flag for that is mail coming to you from another insurance company. For more details on how people are falling victim and how to report this scam, look for this story on my Here to Help page, wsba.com consumer.